Hello and welcome back. All right, we're going to talk sucre hoses today for a minute. So, um, I have sucre hoses in my raised beds. Most of them, I should say, not all of them. But I'm going to show you a little bit. Um, so, a sucre hose, I uh, it was recommended that you actually put them underground. So, here's the end that gets attached. I actually have a uh, adapter that automatically attaches to my hose. I don't have it on this one yet. Um, but it is buried under the ground in here. Uh, it goes around, it goes around there, and then zigzags here. Um, I think it's just, just a three one, so it goes down, up, and up here. I actually have it connected to the next bed, which has a bunch of my spinach, but you can see the connection here splits off um, to hopefully have the water flow a little faster, and it flows through this one, just two lanes, I believe. Uh, this is my kale and my collards and spinach over there. That's where that one ends. I started one in here. As you can see, I have the end here, but I have not put a connector on it yet. I'm not sure if I'm actually going to use that one in that way or just uh, give this one a little bath whenever it needs it. Um, but same over here. I have a hose that starts here. There's the fixing section. Again, doesn't have that automatic connector yet. But in here I have some uh, charred kale and collards, I think is all that's in here. But it starts here, it goes around and into this bed here, goes around the bed in a big loop and comes back out and around to here. This one also continues into a third bed over here where hopefully we're gonna have carrots grow, I don't know. Some leeks are in here. But again, it just kind of goes around in one loop is all I have in here. Uh, the middle may be slightly dry due to that, but I can always just give it a quick little spray because the soaking will um, allow the roots to get pretty wet and the plants will pull from the, wherever the wetness is. So these are my high raised beds. These are the four foot high raised beds. Um, I still don't have any in my strawberry bed, my asparagus. There is an old one here in what is now a raspberry strawberry bed, which you're not technically supposed to go together. And then there's something eating the raspberry there. I don't know what that is, but um, there's one in here that I'm not digging up, but it's in here somewhere. I don't even know where the end is, but I haven't finished that. We'll get to that. And I'm going to take you over to this, the other garden, the second garden, and show you. I'm going to put in more circle hoses there. Alright, so what you have here is a soaker hose. Um, it comes tightly wound, so what you do is you lay it out in the sun for like a minute or two, and because it's black, it soaks up the sun, and it loosens up pretty well, like this right here. So what I do is I buy the kit. The kit comes with a lot of uh, um, adapters to it, like so. So a lot of them come with these little different adapters. This one, uh, the three-way split. And like the one I showed before, this one's a three-way split with the um, with the actual water part there. So this is gonna for this bed. Uh, I showed the other ones earlier. I'm gonna actually try to have one area to start, so it does the whole bed, and I don't have to keep changing it around. So it's gonna start here. Um, all you do is cut it with regular scissors like that. Uh, I've already added it to that side, and I'm gonna add it to here. And you just kind of got these little grabs inside. And in. make sure it's in far enough. It's not going to come out. And then you want to dig down, is what you do. So now these beds are already covered with about, I don't know, not even an inch of mulch. It's not very deep because uh, I hadn't planted in them yet, so I didn't want to make it too deep for mulch to start. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to dig this down. I'm going to get it in. And then I'm going to take another length of the soaker hose here, right there. And this one's actually going to come to a stop. So when I'm ready to do that, I'm actually going to use a stopper. And what that is, is it literally is that it stops. So the water will go to further from there. That'll be the end of that line. But since it's going into one of the three-way connectors, it's going to come out of here, it's going to stop, and then it's going to come over here. and it's going to 
go around, I believe. I'm trying to remember now what I was doing, so I'll figure it out in a second. So, here we go. I just use my little hoary hoary knife. So what I'm doing here is I am digging down, um, I'm moving the mulch out of the way again. This is not a bed that's not planted at all yet, nothing in here but the dirt and the mulch. And I'm digging down about um, four inches I guess, so I just kind of dig my knife in and then I push the hose down. Uh, if I was doing this where there was roots, I would just be very, very careful. And I have done that before, and so far so good. But it's better to do it before you have things planted if you can help it. Um, if not, then do what you gotta do. About four inches down, pushing it in, and then covering back up with the soil. I'm not covering up the mulch yet because it allows me to see my, my uh, pattern make sure I'm covering as much of the bed as possible so now as I get to the part where it's going to change direction I'm going to measure out another length of soaker hose um, give myself a second to remember the pattern I created yesterday and get to it mm -hmm. 